Good morning, Lucha Gang. Breakfast in the making. Sun ain't even up. You see this how early it is? That's why I'm like, it's too early for breakfast. Watch it, boy. Gotta get the kids ready for school. This one. This one right here in specific. Did that even make sense? That one woke me up around five. Not earlier. Been up since. He be bugging if you don't get up with him. Anyways, go get the stuff so I can do your hair. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly Jean. My eyes are all puffy. But make sure you stay true. Hit the like button. Don't be a hitter. You like, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>
I could do my work. I had to send out a lot of merch that y'all had ordered. Uh, hey man, I just want to give y'all some motivation. Don't get content and comfortable in your position and feel like you don't got nothing to prove because you already content, you already at a certain status or you feeling like you just leveled up a little bit. Don't get comfortable and don't get content. It's always higher, higher levels to achieve. Never stop growing on yourself. Never stop working on yourself. You know what I'm saying? Always strive for better. When you get comfortable and you get content where you are, where you are, you feel like you don't gotta accept the challenge or you don't got nothing to prove. That's a bad spot to be. That's a spot to be where you're gonna lose. You know what I'm saying? Cause there's always somebody that's hungry out there aiming for your spot. So keep on hustling, keep on working for yourself and keep on trying to better yourself and keep on trying to grow spiritually, mentally, educate yourself, read, exercise, all that. Man. Currently on our way to go meet up with my boy Jonathan, Organic Prime. Y'all remember we did our uh, in-store, our meet and greet in Houston at Organic Prime. And they're doing a benefit concert and car show for the kids in cages in the border here in Texas, the kids in the valley down there by McAllen. It's a bunch of kids down there that are stuck in the cages. And when they go to court, they got a court appointed lawyer. So they're doing a benefit concert to raise money for the kids down there so they can get an actual lawyer and help them get up out of them cages, man. So that's where we're about to go meet him right now. But if you're in the Houston area, the event is going down next Saturday, October 17th. So y'all come out. We will be in the building, Luciano TV. Turn up. It's all for a good cause. And um, huge shout out to Jonathan for putting this together along with the lawyer. But we're gonna let him tell y'all a little more about this concert and about the event. That way y'all know where to get the tickets and y'all know where it's going to be. Okay, like I told y'all, uh, I was gonna meet up with my boy Jonathan and he's doing something good for the kids down there at the border that are stuck in the cages and we're putting on an event next Saturday in Houston, Texas. So tell them about it, Jonathan. Lucky, you know, I, first off, I appreciate you, bro. Um, you know, cause these kids need people. I mean, no one no one cares about these kids, man. They're literally in cages. It brings tears to my eyes to think about it, man. They're, they're sitting right now, just sitting there waiting on a meal, just like if you were in jail. That's yeah. how they are. Okay, they get court appointed attorneys. We got an attorney uh, with Raices, Texas, and they freed 120 kids. But when you free a child, that child, we can't house that child. We gotta find a home for that child because you can't, we can't house all these kids once we free them. So we're trying to free these kids and then get them homes, foster care, and then we try to help find their parents. Um, so uh, National Foundation of for, uh, Children Forgotten at the Border is helping Raices, Texas. So we teamed up with them to get free these kids. Once we free them, we gotta find homes for them. So it's a lot, Lucky, you know, it's yeah. a lot. You know, and, and so we're raising money at this concert, uh, and it's twenty dollars to get in, okay? Um, but that money goes to the straight to Raices, Texas, okay? So they can go out and free these people. We're gonna be on Fox on Monday. You can watch me and the attorney herself that actually goes out and free these kids. She's an immigration attorney that turned to doing this, and it's her passion, and it's become my passion, and it should be the Raza's passion to go free these children. Because I mean, you got a three-year-old that gets in front of a court system, and he gets a court-appointed attorney. What are you gonna do when you're three years old? You can't even talk. And they send them right back to the, the jail cell. And so all these kids are, are going through this and it's important that somebody gets behind it. Yeah, that's good. Well, I'm glad you're standing up and doing something. Where can uh, they get the tickets? Us. Oh, you can get them, uh, you can get them at uh, thelightupshow.com or you can go to leftattheborder.com. We've got two websites, thelightupshow.com or leftattheborder.com for donations too. We're taking donations. If you can't make it to the show, we appreciate anything you can do. And let them know who's gonna be there. Uh, so, Baby Bash is hosting it. We got Lucky. We got a whole bunch of people. We got uh, the, the ex Cumbia Kings, Menudo, Abel Talemantes. So, it's gonna be a big mix of Raza. You know, it's gonna be uh, a lot of hip hop, but a lot of Cumbia. Cumbia! Yeah! And we got uh, the oldies uh, car show. They're gonna have a big car show out there. All the uh, awesome ride. Yeah, let them know where there. it's at. Um, it's at the pub, 529 on the north side. It's kind of at uh, 529 and Highway 6, 290 and Beltway 8 right there. So everybody show up and, and show your support for these kids. We're actually going to have um, some of the kids performing too. We got we got some little girls that play the uh, accordion. It's going to be real some special. Some kids that were down there? 
Uh, no, no, these kids are actually coming to uh, support. Oh, okay. No, no, we didn't. We're, we can't do that. We can't. That's that's legal. But uh, <laughs> but we are. But we are going to be there, man. And and you'll. But you will meet the attorney that day. The attorney's yeah. going to be on stage talking. All right, man. Good deal. I hope to see y'all out there. It's next Saturday, October 17th, Houston, Texas. Show up and show out. That's right. Support these kids, man. They need us. Nobody else is supporting them. So it's real important that we get behind this. And then we just create a movement. The Light Up Show. Car show, exhibition, and concert series. Saturday, October 17th, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Brought to you by the National Foundation of Children Forgotten at the Border. Oldies Car Club is hosting the car show and Vic Lero's exhibition. Proceeds benefit children incarcerated at the border. For all donations, go to leftattheborder.com. Your money will go to help with legal support, counseling, and personal needs for kids locked up in cages. Get your tickets now at thelightupshow.com. For your safety Mandatory masks are required when standing within six feet apart. Saturday, October 17th, 2 to 10 p.m. at the Pub 529. California finest organically and gift. We went to eat and basically tore it up. But we went to my mom's house, picked her up. Say hi, mom. She's like, otra vez con esa cámara. <laughs> And so we had stopped at Home Depot before uh, getting to her house to get her some like white light bulbs. And Licky was on the phone, right? He's the one that usually goes to buy some for our house. He was on the phone and I was like, which one is it? And so he picks one and turns out that it's not even I the one. two different ones and you put the one back. So he had picked daylight, one pack of daylight and the other pack of bright white. And so we get home and I'm doing all this monkey work because I have to climb on a couch and do all this other stuff to try and get to the lights. And I put them in and they were like the same exact light that my mom already had, which was like the bright, what was it? Bright yellow. white, but it was like yellow. So we had to come back, return them and get the daylight. So hopefully these are the ones because we're not taking another trip, but that's what we're doing. <laughs> Sorry about that. We made pumpkins. Y'all made pumpkins? Um, at recess. Uh, Real pumpkins? No, we drew them. Oh. At recess, there was this girl that kept touching me. Hey, man, you better tell them kids stop touching you. Well, listen, 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 because like... You can take your mask off, G. Oh yeah, she started crying. Listen, she kept like hitting me and I told her to stop. And then like, she kept hitting me. And, like, how was she hitting you? Like, she kept going like this. So I grabbed her hand off and I actually like, twisted her hand. And then she started crying, and then I got in trouble for no reason, but she started hitting me. Well, she you should have broke her hand. Well, you should have told her, well, yeah. you should have kept your hands off me, uh, little mama. So what did your teacher say, or what? Who told you you were in trouble? My teachers? Oh, not, no, Miss Carpiak. Miss who? Carpier? Miss Carpiak. Miss Carpiak? Carpiak. She said what? What did she say? She got mad at me, and she was like, you shouldn't have done that. You can't have recess for the next week, blah, 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 blah. So do you need me to call your teacher? No, I just told him to do because I thought... What, did you tell her, man? She kept hitting me. Yeah, I did, and she was like... And then the girl was like, no, I wasn't. And then, then she was like, she can't believe me. So, so I think I need to call the Mama, teacher. Mama, Mama. Well, then she... Why she take recess from you? Because, I don't know. That's you not fair. Told you should have said, well, look here. I'll just stay home and walk, go to school from Zoom. How about that? I, I don't need to go to recess. <laughs> I'll stay home and go to class on Zoom. <laughs> and eat ice cream all day in my socks. <laughs> How would you like that, Genevieve? Would you like that or would you not? <laughs> Leah's like, mm, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> she has them dark lips. Well, oh, we're I pulling just... up to the oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're pulling up to the house, and we're gonna relieve Denisha from taking care of our kids. Um, we made it just in time because she usually gets off at 4. It's 3.50. We made her work today. Yeah. What's good, guys? I actually, I, I know that we haven't vlogged for like a while, but I actually did vlog, but my parents didn't vlog. Go play ball. I vlogged, but my dad didn't, so like, it was kind of just like, and basically, I was at the house, and he was somewhere else. So we're going to put it together. But ended up not just not working. So we didn't upload that. But we are pretty sure we're going to upload today, hopefully. 
I just got home from school like, um, I don't know, maybe an hour or 30 minutes ago. I don't know. Hold on. I just got home like an hour or 30 minutes ago. And I am eating a Hot Pocket for my after school snack because you already know the vibes. And I'm about to watch some TV while I eat my food. So, so yeah. Stay tuned. Deuce. Look at my lips, so crusty. All right, deuce.